Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit that subscribe button down below and let's get right to it. Racism. One of the biggest scourges in America. Racism is one of the things that piss me off in this country. And racist people just are beyond my understanding. I will never in my life understand how you can look at somebody's skin color and say, I hate that person. I don't understand that. How you can look at somebody like a Jewish person and say, I hate that person because they're Jewish. But you know, people like this still exist. And it's one of the things with a free society. We have to allow these people to exist. I'm all about free speech. I'm all about, you know, allowing people to have their different viewpoints. But let me tell you what happened in a little story from the Democrat reporter out of Alabama. Its editor and publisher, Goodloe Sutton, published an article entitled, Klan Needs to Write Again. If you don't understand what he's talking about, or you're not sure what he's talking about, or you're not up on your history, let me give you a little bit of history. The night rides by the Klan was when they would don their stupid little pointy hats and their stupid little costumes and take their stupid little torches and ride their horses through cities in areas where black individuals lived and Jewish people lived to scare them, to terrorize them simply for being who they were. Many black people were murdered at the hands of these thugs. People were terrorized for decades with these people. And now this son of a bitch wants to bring that back? And why? Why does he think the Klan should ride again? Yeah, that's right, because he believes Democrats are pushing socialist ideals. Even some people in the Republican Party, he claims, are pushing socialist ideas. And that these riots should be used against people that disagree with him politically. So his idea is he wants to traumatize people and terrorize people into believing in his way. He believes it's his way or get terrorized. And he thinks he's going to pl placate everybody because he relinquished control of publishing and editing. And he hired a black woman to be the editor and the publisher of the Democrat Reporter. Well, that's not going to help for me. That's not going to that's not going to solve the problem to me. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other people aren't going to see it that way either. You talk people talk about the free market. Well, here's a way right here to show the free market how the free market works. I call on everybody, anybody to boycott the Democrat reporter and put an end to this racist rag once and for all. It's not his first go round. He's he's put all sorts of racist stuff about about President Obama and African people in general in his stupid little op eds. It's about time for this this little racist scum rag to go out of business. Good low sudden. I hope your newspaper fails. I hope you lose everything. Your workers, I hope they find new jobs quickly. You are scum of the earth, good low Sutton. And I hate making videos like this, because in a way I feel like it kind of gives them more press than they deserve. But at the same time, if we don't call them out on their BS, they'll just keep doing it. And people keep thinking that being a racist is okay, and it's not. Being a racist is not okay. Calling for clan night rides against people because you don't like them is not okay. It is a racist move and it's a little bitch move if you ask me. So to good low Sutton and all you racists out there, go to hell. Th this has been the Big Rancho. I've been your host, Jacob Keck. I'll see you down the road.